So in this video, we're gonna be installing these amber lights on our grill. I think these look kind of cool, so I'm gonna install some on my car. Uh, every amber light is different. You're not gonna have this exact same one. So just find a place that you like it and where you like it. So in my case, I found that I like putting it through this very top hole over here, but because of this plug on the other side, it won't go through. So I had to cut mine so that it would go through. And don't worry, if you have to cut yours, I'm going to show you an easy way to put these back together. But now that that's cut, I found that that's, that's where I like it. So after cutting the rest of them, I could put them all in place. Alright, and with those in place, I could take a look and see if I do like it. And I like the way those look, so that's where I'm going to install it. So one thing you can do before you put them in is to strip the wire. And you can do that with a blade. That's easy. But I have a wire stripper, so that's what I'm going to use. So you want to strip the wires on this end. And what I'm going to use to connect these is some of these crimp connectors. These are super easy to use. So I just need to twist the end of this and then slip a couple of these in. And then with the wire in place, get your crimper and crimp that on. Make sure that's on there tight, and it is. And do the other side. And that's also tight on there. So now we can crimp this onto this wire. Make sure you're connecting the right wire to the right wire, so red with red and black with black. All right, and once it's crimped, give it a tug. Make sure it's on there right. All right, and our wire is through and tight. So now we just do that to the rest. And with all the plugs installed, I could figure out how to wire my wiring to the power. So in my case, I have this channel which goes back here, and you can come through here. So I'm gonna channel it through there and connect all these wires. All right, and with the wiring in place all behind that, now you wanna find a way to mount your lights properly. Now in my case, the wiring I harness is actually kinda of tight in there and it pulls on those lights and puts them in the right position on their own. So these are pretty tight on there, so I'm just gonna leave it like that, but use your mounting hardware or find a way to mount these. Okay, so to wire this up, I know that this is my daytime running lights, so I'm just gonna pull this out. And what I wanna do is connect my lights to this fuse. So what I'm gonna use is this bypass fuse connector which is really cool this is a lot better than connecting it directly to your lights because it keeps the original fuse for the original circuit so I'm gonna put the original fuse at the bottom which is gonna continue to use this circuit as intended and at the top I'm gonna put this 5 amp fuse and that's gonna power my lights just plug that in so next I just want to connect my red wire to here all right and that's good so now I could route this outside of the box and I'll just put it through here. And with that, I can put on my fuse box. Now there's just one thing remaining, and it's this black wire, which I need to connect to ground. And connecting to ground is pretty simple. Down here, I have this bolt. I just need to unbolt this, and I put this under the bolt and tighten it down, and that'll be ground. And tighten it back down. All right, and that's tight on there. So that's good. All right, and we're finally ready to test these out. And there we go, they're working perfectly. So one quick thing to mention is that if your daytime running lights are separate from your regular lights, then you don't want to use this method of connecting it to your daytime running lights. In my case, my regular headlights are the same circuit as my daytime running, so these are going to be on during the night and during the day. And check that out, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.